Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as tetracycline. Its brand name is Actocyte. Now before we talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how tetracycline works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe tetracycline. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects. So how does tetracycline work? Well, its antimicrobial effect is due to protein synthesis inhibition. It is active against a wide spectrum of both gram-positive and gram-negative microorganisms. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see it used to treat an infection of the skin or subcutaneous tissue. We may see it used in the treatment of respiratory tract infections or urinary tract infectious diseases. And there are also some other indications as well. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe tetracycline, we just wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to tetracycline or any other component of the formulation. Now what about dosing with tetracycline? So with tetracycline, the usual dosage range would be 250 to 500 milligrams every 6 to 12 hours. For example, in the treatment of acne, we would see 500 milligrams given twice daily. Now as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using tetracycline. So I'll go over some of those here now. Some patients may experience periocarditis. Some patients may experience increased intracranial pressure or nail discoloration. Paritis, or itchiness of the skin, is a possibility, as well as skin photosensitivity. Some patients may experience abdominal cramps, diarrhea, esophagitis, or nausea, pancreatitis, and vomiting may occur. Hepatotoxicity, or a hypersensitivity reaction, is a possibility, as well as acute renal or kidney failure. That's all we're going to talk about today with tetracycline or actocyte. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. That's it for today. Take care.